Welcome back to Let's Play Hot Wheels Track Tech for the DS. The quest to escape from this digital realm continues. Well, I want an actual race now. Elimination. Just flat race. Let's just a normal race. Actually, I haven't done an elimination in a long time. Let's get back to an elimination. So. A particular fiend has appeared yet again. One of that's minions. Killing. What would, what would Jif King Ryan Storm like the most? If he had to choose between any of these things, I think it would be boost. Why? I guess just because there's a boost mechanic. And... What's it called? And... Sunshot Challenge. But we'll increase everything else soon enough, of course. In fact, we should be getting at least 60 tokens in this race, so we'll be able to increase everything then. For now, we'll live with these stats. Oh no! There's another one of us. It's a clone. I, I figured that that would be saying Croc Rod after us. Since Croc Rod is historically being a nation of that. In multiple universes, in fact. I like how big these boost pads are. It makes life a lot easier for me. I still love the straightaway sports section rule. It's a gentle turn, but that's good. It means you can actually go faster and still not fly off the side of the track. I you know I can't count how many tokens I have though. So I kind of have to hope that I get them all. Off we go. Leave them all in the dust. Oh, darn. It's pretty safe to say though that so far. Our ability to... I'll get some of these tokens for that for you. So far... Oh man, they, they, I don't remember these things being on the side here. The console version. Speed up, man. Jeez. Don't you have max acceleration for this car? Anyways. Center doesn't seem to slight differences on these tracks. Elimination. I should have said who that was. Like, I wish I could see if the fake Jiffy Ryan Storm and or race game was just eliminated. Maybe it was just that alternate universe British Ryan Storm, though. I doubt that. So the Burt Wheeler here is not the Burt Wheeler from the alternate universe. Croc Rod might be the same Croc Rod from the same Crocodile guy from the alternate universe. Since. Maybe not. Thank you. Since that's something that was introduced into this, or into that other universe, and also this one, by that. Alright, so see if we can actually pick up a token here. It's something that wasn't already picked up by. It's something that all the other tokens weren't already picked up by other people. I can't let tokens slip through our hands and fall into the hands of that, because that's how you're into issues like. The fake Roger Dodger popping up. It's only gonna make our escape harder. Oh, that was actually a token. Hidden token indeed. So these tokens are quite hidden. Oh dear. Dramatic things are happening. It's just we're kind of running around though. You know, this might be like Jurassic Jam from from Star Trek Challenge. It's a nice reminder actually, playing as Drifting Ryan Storm here. Also, I just realized. Is this, is it like this in the like in every incarnation, does Raj Dodger really not have a back window? I'm just looking at the car right now. It's weird not seeing a window. Raj Dodger normally has a back window, right? It's basically. Like, oh man, that doesn't even really slow you down the slightest. Interesting. Let's see if there's something I can pick up in here that I missed last time. So I don't know if we're going to have enough tokens to actually fully upgrade this car, but we'll see. See who wants a second. Oh, okay, so the fake Drifting Around Storm and or Race Cam actually got last. Whatever. Not very good fake seat. That is still quite behind the power that we have. It's hoping I stay that way for quite a while. 
Okay. Off the beach. So in that case, what do you want to do next? I'd like to do an actual race again. Green race. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna jump around all the time. Like you saw a base side to do. At the same time. Let's have some variety. I guess. We'll jump around between things. I mean, this, is, this isn't just one car or two cars doing a variety of things in a particular order. This is a variety of vehicles working together. Ah, oh, come on. Almost. So after a fully upgraded Raj Dodger, I'll just, I guess we'll just wait to see who we end up following next in their adventure. That isn't causing any huge problems so far. Just yet. Although, there's that shark thing. So... Not totally out of the woods, I guess. So can I make this tournament better in this version? Uh, a bit. It's not as bad in the slightest. Although it might, partly might be because I'm driving a much slower car. Yeah, it took this. Yeah, it feels weird getting to the crib my first play session here. Probably because the races are shorter in this game. Darn. I thought that was going to give me something. But also because I'm playing things in a different order. Because normally I finished base side entirely before coming here. I didn't go with that this time. Alright. See, we're driving through here pretty cleanly. Yeah. I love how this game is a lot more forgiving than its console equivalent with when you pick up these tokens. It's just another modification made to make things easier for us by the two of the Golden Patch Red. Oh, jeez! That too. Away. Of course, it also means it's easier for that to pick them up, but we'll do what we can for the time being. Try to take advantage of the help we've been given. This is slower, but it presumably has a token there, except I think someone also picked up or something. Ah! Darn! I saw Scott, anyways. Alright, so that's not our token anymore. It's okay. So, what music was playing until just now? Because I don't remember hearing this part of the song like, the entire time we were doing this race. This is normally the beginning of the song, so no. The music kind of seemed a little weird to me. Because I noticed the science just seems to really suddenly start over. I can't tell if it's usually starting the track when it sounds like it starts over, or if it's just looping really poorly. By looping, I mean, like, literally just starting the song from the beginning again without any actual transition. Hey, I mean, even if you don't have the best cornering or speed or whatever, you actually are making these turns pretty car pretty comfortably. For the most part. I can appreciate that. Cool. Indeed I did. Damn, we'll buy a lot. Shark Cruiser. Yep, there's another one of that's little fiends trying to get on our tails. That will just stay ahead of them like you always have. Let's see what comes of that. Alright, so something on the race is probably a good idea now. Checkpoint. I already did a checkpoint kind of recently. Let's do a token grab. I think that's the last thing. I think it's the thing I've gone the most time without actually doing. So now, though, we can fully upgrade this. Beautiful. Look at you guys. Ryan, Storm, and Race can work together in decent harmony. Not really perfect, beautiful harmony, but in decent current harmony. So who else do we have with us? Oh, Super Ernie Agents actually served a supercar, too. Interesting. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Maybe it's all around, but I would imagine that they're all supposed to be like really good stats. Considering that at least one of the two others is really like super late game. Yeah, F1 Race was the last one in the 
other version. So we actually unlock cars by tokens. So it is in fact collecting tokens that gets us access to these. It allows us to free more from the... Well, make more aware to the true nature of this digital reality and get them on the side and all that. But who would we want right now? Who would, is there anyone we really want right now after... Raj I don't think there is right now. So we'll just stick with these guys for now. Which is fine, because we don't have a lot of tokens to spare or anything. Of course, we're going to have more after this. Considering that all the tokens we collect here, maybe upwards of 15 or so, will be applicable towards increasing the stats of someone new. They might be able to get a new friend from this alone. Let's have to see. I remember, this is actually the one where we played as Drifting Grinds from last time, too. Ah. Without any upgrades, no less. Yeah, look at that slide. That wasn't... I thought that the first ramp I saw was the ramp I was trying to go to, and it was not... Here we go. We did it. Okay. So you need at least 10 tokens to get full credit for this. Any more we get, the better. Jeez, okay. Well, some interesting things happen when you don't land perfectly in this game. Do it, man. I mean, come on, you. Remember Stunt Track Challenge and all the crazy things of basically this exact nature that contestants had to do. You ought to be able to do those same things, too. Doesn't I mean that's the case in the slightest, but maybe race game can at least help out a little bit. Ah! <laughs> Did he fall off like that? Okay. Up there. Just barely get across these. Do a bicycle as well. That'd be nice and pretty. So it looked like there was a token here. That was not the case in the slides. Can I make it like this? Not in the slightest. Okay. Well, I got 11 tokens. That's not a ton, but... Bad butter. Nice. See? New companions. Still makes a good positive difference. Thank you, Drifting Rhinestorm and or Race Cam. The name just gets longer and longer. Alright, so next. Desert. Another race, elimination, hot lap. I think another hot lap. So we have Stomp, because Stomp is actually the first one too. Okay. I don't know why these are to pick those different places on the map, actually, because they're the same track, but whatever. And these stats, though, they can still be increased by quite a bit. We're going to see some massive improvement by the end of this game, I suppose. Whoever ends up joining us last, we'll have to see. I'm not quite sure. Well, not being. Let's see if we can follow in the footsteps of the governor, the mighty governor that somehow managed to get the target time on this level, despite having way lower stats than it should have had at this point in the game. But also, rebuilding boost a lot more quickly, I felt, I feel like. I feel like I'm still taking way longer than I did in the console version to get my boost back. This is also not the actual... I'm gonna take this route in the console version, but whatever. It's not really a problem. It's not, it slows me down ever so slightly, but also keeps you on track, so it's not really a problem. Looks like more getting tokens, honestly. But I noticed all the target times so far seem to have been the same, which is strange. 
one that is. Whatever. Okay. Bone shaker. Alright, so that having been done, I think it's about time to say farewell again. So I'll see you guys next time next episode of Let's Play Hot Wheels Track Attack. Or head on back to the beach, I suppose. We're making good, good progress. We're about a third of the way through almost so far. So I think we're actually making pretty similar progress at a pretty similar rate to what we did in the console version. We're just doing things in different order, which is fine. Okay, see you then, guys. Who knows what we'll end up having as a companion next. But for now, Drifting Ryan Storm finally gets his time in the spotlight. And by that, I mean Drifting Ryan Storm that isn't the British version. And or Race Cam. And Race Cam, we, we know he had a long time coming. He deserves it. In any case, he's a fan favorite. Bye, guys.